Last year, we premiered our documentary in eight countries across Europe. This year, we're home and doing it big. 49 days, 15 cities, five pro athletes, two countries, and one badass team. I'm Jesse LaFlair. I'm Corey DeMyers. This is Off The Edge. Heading back to Buffalo and picking up Annan, it was time to make the overnight drive to Flint, my childhood home. We are just arriving at my house here in the grand old state of Michigan. Welcome to my family's home. Congratulations. Fuck, I almost fell asleep like a thousand times. Yeah, well, we made it. We're we, alive. We did it again. Okay, this is embarrassing. Let me just say, no shower. Oh my God. There we go. It's so good to see you. Hi, good to see you too. Hi, I'm so excited. Hello. Oh my Hello. gosh. Oh, I was thinking trying to get home, man. Welcome home. Man. Thank you. Recurring issue with shitty ankles. I was trying to line and uh, was taking a step and decided I wasn't going to go anymore, but my ankle thought otherwise and just went for it. And it just pop rolled over. The top of my foot was on the on the floor, but I, I knew as soon as as soon as it went that this is not going to be my my best day. As we moved from one spot to the other, we saw some guys jumping around. Turned out to be where we were going to be holding the jam the next day, and conveniently the best spot that any of us had ever seen, ever. Now that you've just seen this spot, how are you feeling about your injury? Deep-seated regret deep down into my soul. We're here at the Riverbank Park in Flint after a long day of filming. We had a good day off, so we decided to take it upon ourselves to do a little adventuring in the city, find a couple of good spots, and shoot a couple of photos for our sponsors. Right, Emily? I feel like I'm on, is this a talk show now? What the hell did I just turn that into? I don't know, into? you're a host. And uh, take a couple of good photos for our sponsors, right, Emily? <laughs> That's right, Corey. We Why don't you tell me about your process? Today. Well, since I can't do it. <laughs> Today is the day. It's the FH2T Doc screening in the Off the Edge Jam here in Flint, Michigan. The whole family's getting ready today with a little bit of breakfast, try to fuel up before we head out and get our day started. The world's best, right here. Well, yes, you do. You, have, you definitely have the world's best. The world's here. best. <laughs> Pasha's sitting right there. Oh! I'm very proud of Corey. I'm proud of Jesse. I am completely inspired as an adult. I'm, I'm thankful that my son 
got out of life that he can do anything he wants to do and that challenges are going to come about but that's what makes you stronger. It touches my heart to see that he's changing lives and, and all these kids. I had children walk up to me at the door when I was helping out when everybody was getting here. They're like, you know, this guy's like Elvis. I don't even think they understand how many people they're going to be able to inspire through this. I'm proud of them. And our kids need these people to look up to. And they're it, right there. They're the real deal. Flint is, it's had a hard um, go the last several years and we're losing everything we had um, that inspired us back in the day. And I think maybe these young guys coming and showing where they started and where they're at now and coming back to this place, I think it might inspire a lot of our young people who don't know what they're gonna do as they get older. I think now they know they can do whatever they want. Uh, I tell you what, when he came into my karate school at six years old when I first met him, this little guy who wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, and he just resonated with it. As his father figure, it touches my heart. I'm just so blessed knowing that, that I probably had some little bit of a part that put this inspiration in him, and I couldn't be more but proud. I encourage all of you to, to find that thing in your life and live your life with inspiration. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I might be a little bit tongue-tied right now. I'm, I'm just in awe of what I just saw. I had no idea what this was going to be. I had no idea. I'm proud. Uh, we got an interview with like ABC or NBC News or something really quick, so we just gotta go now. We're out here at the Riverbank Park in Flint. It's about to go off at one of the most amazing locations we've ever seen in the entire world.